Hi all, Mess Banka from Kaiser Power Electronics here and welcome to this unboxing of the Anet A8 3D printer. I just had this bo box delivered to my door today. Um, came uh, after only four days uh, in uh, transit. Uh, ordered from Germany to Denmark. So that's not uh, that far, but as it's ordered from eBay from a Chinese seller, um, just four days is pretty cheap. Uh, especially considering that this was uh, $150, um, including shipping. So that is actually quite good. At least since the first time I tried to buy this, um, the seller tried to uh, give me an A6 instead and tried to tell me that was a much better product. So that's quite neatly packed here. That's at least sitting in a good styrofoam um, encasing here. Does not look that it's completely 90 degrees, but I guess that's no problem for just uh, holding up the um, the heated bed. That is some terrible soldering. That's that's awful. Comes with some cheap tools, some wires. Safety instructions, at least that seems to be in readable English. I will say that an uh, assembly instruction for a complete 3D printer on four pages of A4 size, that's probably going to take some googling and reading forum posts. The uh, linear um, bearings here. Seems okay. I'm a little doubtful how that is kept in place since the plastic is slotted, so how sturdy that is. Other parts here are... I'm not quite sure if this... Uh, this seems... laser cut um, acrylic. And here we have a a whole reel of printing material. Half a kilogram of white PLA. So let's try to remove the first drawer here. See what we have underneath. Okay, so here it comes uh, display, main board. Actually comes in Nice small packages. Let's just check out if it has a yep, anti-static back. That's a plus. A bag of Chinese condoms. What is this? The steel rod axis material. Here we have all the uh, cut parts. I'll have to check up with the uh, parts list if everything is there. But let's just move on to see what's underneath here. And down here we have all the stepper motors. Another stepper motor for the uh, for the head. Oh, here we have it. The heated uh, head for dispensing the material. All the screws. What do we have here? More linear actuators. Yeah, okay, along with the uh, the screws to move along the rails. Fan for cooling off the 
Ah, yeah, this was the. I ordered the version with um, end switches. So um, I'm not quite sure if that's just. Uh, that option is just that board added. But surely. Uh, sure does seem so. Some more wires and switches, USB cable, the belts, and more acrylic parts. And here we have the threaded rods for the um, for the moving along uh, from the stepper motors. And a lot of cable sleeving here. And this has got to be the uh, power supply. I have been wondering what kind of quality that would be. That's very lightweight. For 12 volt, 20 amps, this is extremely thin and underrated. I would. <laughs> presume that forced air cooling would be a plus for something like this that that's simply that's simply too lightweight and, and really huge for for the rating as well so it's too large weighs too little that's a bad sign let's see the steppers if we can just pick one up Okay, they're hard to get out of there without breaking the styrofoam. So we'll leave those in place. And I actually assume that this is the bottom layer of the box. Yep, no more. So stay tuned for the uh, assembly process. I guess that would be a time-lapse video and I'm looking forward to find out where where these go that's maybe it's in the instruction here I'll just check that out fast because I got no idea where that would be used nothing there Nothing here as well. Must be a joke. What do you say? Do you know why I got 10 yellow small condom-like things with a 3D printer? Because I for sure do not. So until next time, see ya.